Welcome! Yes! 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 Oh, come on! Yes! Damn! I thought that I would try this new thing, which is uh, talking to a camera about ideas that I have. And this video is gonna be about Politics. Whoosh. Moving on to the next segment. Damn! Whoosh. <laughs> is my whip, does it sound good? Like, this is one of my elastic bands. It broke this morning, so I put a new one here. Whoosh. 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 You even see it? Whoosh. It's too fast. Whoosh. We can't even see his whip. Whoosh. Uh, one of the things that bothers me in the world these days is how much we all disagree on a lot of things. And... Uh, it got me thinking quite a while ago about democracy and about how we could improve our democracy. And one of the ideas that I got after thinking for a long, long time, it's not, I didn't think of for that long. <laughs> Actually, I can't remember how much time I thought about that. <laughs> but anyway, it, um, is, uh, is the idea of unanimity. So um, not, nothing to do with, the, you know, it's, it's nothing scary. It's not about unanimity like the... Um, the movie, you know, Equilibrium, where unanimity is this thing where we force everyone to do this one thing one way. Obviously, unanimity is about the idea of being a free agent and deciding for yourself what you want to do. And the collective can only move forward if everybody as free agents decide that they agree on a way forward. So that's the ideal, right? I'm sure there's a lot of way that a, a unanimous decision-making ideal could be corrupted, but there are ways, in my opinion, to make things work. So first of all, you'd have to, if you wanted to move on from a majority kind of democracy to a unanimity kind of democracy, you would have to get everyone to first agree on this let's do this unanimity thing <laughs> which i think is kind of foolproof because if you, everybody votes to make decision the, the very decision making change then isn't that kind of foolproof so i thought the unanimity was an interesting idea to put out there if ever some of you are thinking well it's kind of impossible to get everyone to agree right so but then you're thinking you're starting to think like but maybe we can get and I don't know what you're thinking, but <laughs> maybe we can get, some of you must be thinking, well, maybe we can get like 60% of people to agree. That, wouldn't that be better? But then if you get 60% of people to agree, you get 40% of people that will disagree. And the more you get some people to agree that is not 100, the smaller amount, the more you're creating a minority and you have tyranny that turns into a tyranny. We already have tyranny today. Like we, a majority decision is already a tyranny. It's already well. Like we're getting most people think about it. St don't don't think about m democracy like you've always thought about it. Like hey, it's normal to go to the post. Put it into question. Think about it this way. Forget everything that you ever know about democracy and just think about what are we actually doing here? What are we doing? What are we doing in this democracy? We are voting half and half for people that we half and half don't like. Because, like, you don't like everyone's ideas, do you? Like, you, you have to choose one politician over another because you like more of his or her ideas than the, other, than the other person's. So, what you're really doing here is you are actually not a free agent making a complete choice about how the place is going to be governed. You are choosing to compromise a, a very big deal. Like, let's talk about quickly about, so this is going to be mostly for UK viewers who are going to be watching right here. So it could be about UK. But right now, one of the big things that's happening is the, is the US election and Trident and Bump. Biden and Trump are fighting it out. And y there's, I'm sure there's quite a lot of people that don't like either of them. But you kind of have to choose because, well, the Democrats chose that that dude and the Republicans don't seem to want to not choose that dude. <laughs> so what what are we doing? Well, I'm going to basically I'm going to compromise. This is how democracy works. I, I, I posted something on a YouTuber's page 
uh, no, uh, his his Twitter page. He he had a tweet talking about democracy, saying if you follow a, a one person to the extreme, then like and you follow all their ideas, then it's a cult. It's not a politician. And then I was like, well, shouldn't we just chuck the entire political system away in that in that case? And he was like, well, what do you mean? Surprisingly, he answered, what do you mean? And I was like, well, if you vote, the end result is if you vote for a politician, you're voting for all his ideas, even if you disagree with him. So in actuality, even if you're not a cult follower, you're kind of a cult enabler. So what do you want to do when you got that choice to make? You make a different system. And the different system for me that would be more interesting would be to try to go, let's try and all agree on something. It doesn't have to be everything. It doesn't have to be everything. Later, maybe we can work towards trying to agree on as many things as possible. But first, couldn't it be just one thing? Let's all agree on one thing. And I know that we don't have to agree on everything because we're all different. Like, I like, I like pistachio ice cream. I like pistachio and I like chocolate. And I like salted caramel, but I'm not a huge fan of vanilla. It's kind of boring. I don't like vanilla. I don't like vanilla chocolate. I know this is that has nothing to do with my uh, sexual preferences and like, uh, do you like chocolate or vanilla? I don't. Who would pistachio even be in that case? <laughs> I like pistachio. <laughs> the little green man. It's fine. We are all different, but at some point you have to be okay with recognizing we all live in one world. We do only live in one world. There is nowhere to go. There might be one day. Maybe Elon Musk is going to be like, let's, let's create this spaceship and we can all fly away. And maybe some of us will one day. And, you know, good for them. They want to be space explorers and we figure out a way to do it and they're fine with it. And it makes things easier for people back on Earth who want to stay. Maybe we'll do that. But until then, and until we find a way to cradle the machines and the freaking blueprint for the spaceship, we're gonna have to learn to live together. And that's something that nobody's prepared to do. Literally, like, I'm the only person that I know that holds this opinion, that we can try to live together. I see YouTubers every day, I'm pointing towards my phone, which is there. <laughs> I see YouTubers every day, and I don't mean to be mean, but bitching about each other. Not even about issues anymore. It's not even about issues and about ideas. It's about each other, it's about people. So I want to just stop this, P I don't like this person because they like this, I know because they're this person because they like this. Move past the person thing, like, it's okay, they're different from you, duh. You're not gonna like everything that they say. And sometimes they'll say something really rude or really mean, but it doesn't mean they have to die. It doesn't mean they have to go to hell or anything like that. Sometimes it just means that they're a dick. And if you don't like the dick, that's there, just try to move along to another place, but leave them live. I remember saying one time to someone that it is good to not be too harsh on the people who think differently from you, because they may be the guardians of what you might one day become. The guardians of ideas that you don't agree with now, but you will later, and you'll be happy that they existed so that they could keep alive a spirit you will join in on later, because you realized, oh, actually, I. I, I was stupid when I was younger. Maybe now I prefer this thing. So I am grateful to everyone for having ideas. And I know this sounds idealistic, like some ideas might be dangerous, but they're fringe ideas. There's not that many of them. Most of the ideas that we have are good ideas. And maybe some of them fail, but they're good ideas. And they'll turn into good or uh, into successes or failures. But my point is that it just like saying there are no wrong questions. This is the same thing. You could almost say there are no wrong ideas. And who gets to decide which are the right ideas or which are the wrong ideas? Shouldn't we all discuss this together? And I got to this conclusion in my head. This the only good moral way. The only one. In fact, the, the, I, did, I can't think of a better one. Considering that we all live on the planet. And that we were all born. And that we don't have a choice. You were born into this world, but you don't have a choice. Someone else made that choice to make you. And now you're here and you've got to make the best of it. And to make the best of it, you need to get along. You need to be able to share your ideas. You need to be able to express yourself. And if you can't express yourself, 
do you even exist? I mean, it's, <laughs> it, it sounds exaggerated, but it's true. The only moral way in a world where we all live together to not exclude anyone is to all discuss things together and to move forward together. There is no other way, no other way. If you want to be respectful of the birth of a being inside a world, the only thing you can do is listen to them when they have an opinion. Dissuade them if you must, but never turn away. Never blind yourself. And some of the people who are watching now probably know that the reason that their president right now is elected is because some people stayed unhappy for too long. And now they don't listen to the people who told them, shut up, stay in your corner. They listen to the people who said, I like you. Now maybe the president of the United States is not the person who actually likes them, but he said it first. So it's kind of your undoing. And that's why I think unanimity could be a good way forward. What do you think? There's a comment section below. Leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. There's unfortunately no button for, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so, I just hope you're thinking about it. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Damn!